All right, so this question is a little bit like probability two, but it's got this weird table that's a little bit hard to read. Uh, so we'll give the question a read through and we'll talk about how to understand what that table is trying to tell us. Sal works in a dress shop. She wants to know how well the labels on the dress hangers agree with the true size of the dresses. The table shows information about some hangers and dresses, and then we've got this big table. Uh, just to talk a little bit about how this table works, um, this number here means that there were 10 Sorry, there were eight dresses that were size 10 and they were labeled as a size 10. So those are all labeled correctly. But then over here, these two, there were two dresses that were size 14, but they were labeled as size 18. So those are obviously in the wrong place. Uh, in fact, we can go a little bit further and say that all of these, so the 10s that were on a size 10 hanger, the 12s that were on a size 12 hanger, the 14s, 16s, and 18s that line up with the correct label, those are all labeled correctly and everything else is labeled wrong. Right, let's continue. Sal thinks that two in every seven dresses are on hangers with the wrong label. Is Sal correct? Well, we're gonna to need to know a couple of things. We're gonna to need to know how many dresses there are. Um, so let's say how many dresses. And we're gonna to need to know how many of those were on the wrong hanger. Uh, wrong hanger. So, we can find out how many dresses there were by adding up these numbers across the bottom. Uh, because if there were 10, if there were, if there were 12 size 10 dresses and 13 size 12s and so on, then adding these numbers up will tell us the total number of dresses. So over to the calculator, uh, which is going to add up 12 plus 13 plus 19, 16 and 17. 12, 13, 19, 16, 17. Great, so there were 77 dresses altogether. Um, let's put that up here. Now, how many of those are on the wrong hanger? Um, so the ones on the wrong hanger are all the ones that I haven't circled. So um, where there's a little dash like here, that's just saying there were no dresses that were a size 12, but labeled as a size 16. They could have put a zero in there and that would have been the same. Um, so we need to add up all these numbers that are not down the diagonal. And we could do that on a calculator to keep track, or you can just count up on your fingers because they're quite low numbers. Um, but I'm going to do it on the calculator. So, oh, sorry, bear with me for a sec. I think my system might have frozen. Bear with me. Yeah, okay, we're back. Uh, so we're going to add up all the things that were on the wrong hanger. So I'm going to go across first and then I'll start coming down on the right hand side. So 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 3 plus 1 plus 2 plus 2. So those are all the ones on this side of the diagonal. Now I'm going to start adding the ones on the left as well. So we've got a 2 and a 1 and another 1 and another 1. 1, 1, 2, 1. That comes to 22. So, there are 77 dresses altogether, and 22 of them were on the wrong hanger. Um, now that's already going to get us marks, and that's really important. But the question we're trying to answer is, is that the same as 2 in every 7? Um, and yes, it is the same. The reason why it's the same is because um, uh, 2 in 7, uh, so 2 in 7, would be the same as, for example, 4 in 14. Those are the same thing because all I've done is doubled both of these numbers. So it's the same proportion. It's the same number of dresses wrongly labeled out of correctly labeled. So if you like multiply this um, statement, 2 and 7, it stays the same. And if I was to take 2 and 7 and multiply by 11, I would get 22 in 77. Um, so they are equivalent. It's just that this is written out 11 times bigger than what Sal is saying, but that's fine because it's just proportion. Now, to try and get something in my working out box, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to put two times 11 is 22, and seven times 11 is 77. So two times 11 equals, and seven times 11 equals. Uh, they've gone they've gone in slightly the wrong place. Um, it's up to you how much you want to mess around with that, I am going to put those in the right place. So get rid of that, get rid of that, move my cursor down here, and then I'll just copy them in again. So we did 7 times 11 and 2 times 11. 
like that. Good. Um, and that's enough working out. So is Sal correct? Yes, she is. Um, just to explain one more time, 2 in 7 is the same as 22 in 77, because it's just 11 times bigger. If you had... You could, you could separate out your 22 wrong hang addresses out of the 77 into 11 groups, and in each of those groups you'd have two in every seven that are labeled wrong. Um, maybe that last explanation made it sound more confusing. They're the same because you can multiply them, you can multiply two in seven by 11, and you do get 22 in 77. Um, right, cool. That's that one anyway, bit of a nasty one. Um, hope that helps. Thank you very much.